Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. So today, what I'd like to try and do is, well, I was actually thinking I'd like to expand the base a little bit more as well. Um, but no, the main thing that I'd like to try and do is get some more bits and pieces together and maybe get a prawn suit put together. I think the prawn suit would actually be really cool. I also have no idea how to get this unit, this, this thing that we've got, this one right here, this depth module mark one onto the Seamoth. I don't know how to actually install it into the Seamoth and so that is something that I'd like to try and do as well today. First thing that I'm going to do though is we're going to come over here and we're going to get a couple of these. Uh, how many have I got room for? I can take two I think. Uh, we want a couple of lantern fruits. We've got these lantern trees here now. So grab two of those. That is indeed all I can carry. So we'll go over to here and we'll climb up we go to our bioreactor right here, and I'm going to stuff it full of these lantern fruits. So, uh, switch container, there we go, we can put those in there. I'll go and get a couple, I'll get one more, just one, actually I'll get two more, because I will eat one of them. Uh, let's come over to this side, there we go. These lantern fruits, they do produce quite quickly. It's actually quite cool how quickly that they can produce. So we do that, and then I'll eat that one. Uh, so that's that bit done. All done, all finished. Uh, we would like some windows up here. I need, well I actually need glass to do that so we want to go, well we need to go and get some, I've got some quartz I don't know if I've got glass already made, I know that it does take quartz to make the glass, right we got a piece of quartz right there and then in this one we've got, uh, I got a piece of silver ore I also have a stalker tooth which is what you need for making enameled glass which we will be doing at some point soon and we've got lithium, so I've only got one quartz, just the one, that is for the cyclops there, we don't want to worry about that one for a minute, so let's go into here, can we make glass, I can't, I can make the wiring kit from the silver ore, the glass requires, oh, that's the enamel glass, actual glass requires two quartz, I only have the one, and we need two of them in order to make a window, which I'd like, I'd like to have a couple of windows further up on the, the next level, so okay, so we won't worry about that right now, let's go, we'll go and put that back, Let's, let's, let's tidy away a few things. I've got these nutrient blocks that I'm carrying. Um, I think I will keep hold of those for now. And we'll also put, pop the silver ore in there. The rest of this stuff. Propulsion cannon. I want the repulsion cannon. What I'm... In particular what I'm after is the... Um, the, the, the module... What is it? What is it? The, the, the fabricator? Is it the fabricator that I want? I think it's the fabricator. You know, I don't actually remember what it's called now. We look through here, we've got cured food, equipment, tools, machines. No, it's not in machines. It's not there. Modification station. I want the modification station so that I can make these. We want the ultra high capacity tank. Um, lightweight high capacity. No, it's, it's that one there. The ultra high capacity tank. I want that one. Ultra glide fins. The repulsion cannon. You know, there's all of these really cool things that I want to be able to make that I can't at the moment because I don't have the modification station. And if you look down through here, multi-purpose thermal plant, I don't have that one yet. Uh, spotlight, exterior, grow beds, bioreactors, there we go. Modification station, that one right there, I only have two, uh, one of three. I've still got two pieces to find, and I don't have it at the moment. Right, camera one. Oh, yeah, th th those are a little way away. So uh, we've got heat area, data box, creature eggs, quartz, reef backs, metal salvage, uh, wreck and salt deposit. Does that mean that I don't actually have any things? Why can't I get more bits on there? I think I need some more range. That's what I need. Uh, we need magnetite and copper ore to do that. Let's go, and, let's go and get those. We'll increase the range of it and then hopefully that will allow us to do these other bits. And I know I've got copper here somewhere. I've definitely got magnetite somewhere. Or do I? Maybe I don't definitely have them. Maybe, maybe I don't have them at all. Take a look in this one. Nope, that's more lithium, but there's no magnetite in there. And this one is again no magnetite. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. We'll go back over to this one and we will look and see if we can find some magnetite in here. So limestone doesn't give us. We got I, I could look for quartz and I could look for metal salvage. Wreck and salt deposit. Alright, let's go for the wreck, maybe. What's that gonna do? No, I don't that's not actually gonna be useful. I guess maybe the data box. Maybe we'll look for the data box. There's one over there, look. Right there. Uh, there seem to be any others anywhere nearby, but we'll, we'll go out and we'll look at that data box. I also need to have a bit of a drink first. I'll do that via consuming as many of these as I can for a minute. Two, three. 
I think that's all I can carry, yes. Takes forever to consume it like that. What I need is those bulbo trees. Those have got loads and loads of water in. I don't think I've got a seed for them. I've got a voxel shrub seed. No, I, I need to go and I need to get one of those bulbo things. That, that is on my to-do list, definitely. Now, I've got a data box down over there. Where did I park my seed moth? Let's go over to this one. I still don't know how to actually install this module on this thing. It's something I need to go and look up in a minute. But let's go and get this data box first. This is bound to have useful information. It may help us. We also want to go back to the Aurora. And we want to grab the stuff that's on there. There is a there's a thing. In, it's, it's in the captain's quarters. We want to go there. We are not going round the far side of the Aurora, though. We know that that is not a pleasant experience. That we and uh, we don't want to be we doing all that again. That that was that was very unpleasant. It was very scary. Quite frankly, I never ever want to do that again. So let's go in here and I got three data boxes showing up now. There's one. Uh, there's some titanium. We've actually been in here before. So oh. I've actually already gotten this data box. Right. Well, that's not useful. It's supposed to just tell me stuff that I've already got. That's all I want in here is stuff that I've already got. Uh, right. Well, I got two more over that way, apparently. Let's go and take a look. How far away are they? Uh, right. Well, there's one there. Oh, down there. Actually, that one there might be... Is, is that just... Nope, that's actually a long way away. All right, let's go into here, and we we, we go we go the long way. Uh, enter scene. Right, we're gonna head over here. That might be down in the cave. You know, there is a cave down below us. These data boxes here. It did say something about um, some stuff being in the cave. I'm not quite sure what was in the cave though. All right, let's go up over. I'm pretty sure I've already got all the data boxes that are gonna be in the immediate vicinity. However, I'm not going to guarantee it. I'm not going to say I've definitely got them all because, uh, yeah, all sorts of strange things have been happening to me in this game. I could very easily have left a few behind. So let's go over this way. Uh, that is... These reef backs are very, very big and they're also very concerning. Okay, we've got a data box down there. There'll be a wreck of some sort down here somewhere. There we go. Right, is this... Have we been here before? You know, I don't actually know if I've been here before. I don't think I have. I think this is new. Let's jump out of here. What have we got? There's a great big old reef back up there, and there's another one up there. Those are slightly... It's slightly concerning, those monstrous great big things up there, but I think we, we, we can sort of get by them. So somewhere in here... Well... Oh, yeah, it is. It's inside here. There is, there is a data box somewhere inside this thing. Um, I just need to get into it. How do I get in? I, d I don't mind how, it's just I, 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 need, I need to sort of figure it out. Unless I, do I go under here? It's in there. Right. Uh, come around. Go up. I... How do I actually get in here? Do I have to cut my way through here? No. That just says locked. I don't have a way in. Is it up here? Ah, there we go. Nailed it. Right, and there is a there is a data box. There is a there is a PDA. We've got an abandoned PDA, and we've got a data box over here. New PDA. Let's grab that one. And oh, the data box you open it and you just get stuff straight away. What else have we got in here? Uh, I thought there was a battery right there, but there isn't. Oh, I've got sixty seconds of stuff left. There we go. Now I can actually see. Right, let's, let's scramble around here a little bit. Is there anything in here that I can scan? I don't think anything has come up with scanning. I've integrated PDA data. Going along here. This is going to get me hopelessly, hopelessly stuck and lost, isn't it? Uh, oh, right. Mod yes! Yes, 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 yes! That is what I was looking for. Modification station fragment. Look at that. 30 seconds. Oh, fantastic. Okay, now I need to get out, and I can't get out this way. I gotta go all the way, but I'm I'm gonna have to come back in here, and we'll see if I can, if there's another piece of the the station here somewhere. I don't know if there is. Right now, I desperately need to get to the surface. I know, swim to the surface. Thirty meters away, six, six. Nope. Oh, 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 that was cutting it fine. That was cutting it fine. Right, we're okay. We're all, we're good to go. Let's get back down in here. 
Uh, we will ignore that monstrous great big thingy. And we want to head down here. In through here. We can go quite quickly with this thing. We remember, we do have the sea glide. So we want to go in through this way. And then down this passageway and into this room here. Right, what have we got? That is a sealed door cut open to access. We will cut that open in a second. Let me... Yeah, I want to look around here. Have I got anything else in here that I can... There was something I could scan. It's definitely a scan thing there. What's this? Battery charger. For, I've already got the battery charger. Really don't need this now. I've, I've already got that one. That, that, one's, that one's all good to go. There we go. Right, that is... That's all good in there. No, there is nothing else there. So we'll go to this sealed door and we'll see if we can chop this one open. I just need to go into there and I want to get the... Not the repair tool. Laser cutter. Put that one in there. And... Nope. That one. Right. Right. We have chopped our way through this one. What do we got inside? Is this... Oh, this is where I've I, I already been through here. So I, I could have just cut my way through that way. I don't think it actually let me cut my way through the other way. So we got some PDA data. We'll look at that in a second. We're just going to... Oh, no. There was something else that I could scan. What is that? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. I've already got that one. I'll scan it anyway because it's, you know, a little bit of um, titanium. And we can also just check and see. Oh, seconds. there's a supply crate. Yep, that's great. Uh, I need to get out. I need to get out. We will come back and we'll get that in a second. Let me out! Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I'm getting stuck. Don't panic. Don't panic. Just get straight to the surface. I want that. Uh, modification station is what I want. Oxygen. Oxygen. Swim to the surface. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. We'll go back in in just a sec. There we go. Right, now we can go back in here. There's one more data box thingy that we want to find after we've finished exploring this one. It's actually quite a complicated one to get through. Now, is there anything in... There is something in there. What's that? Propulsion cannon. I've got that one as well. I'm, I am scanning these just to get the titanium. You get the titanium fragments whenever you scan something that you've already got. Um, because, quite frankly, it is proving to be useful, having a bit of titanium. We kind of used up all the titanium we've got. Right, I can't see anything, so let's go... There we go, now I can see. Right, we've got in here a supply crate. Let's open that, and what have we got in there? Some water. We, we could actually do with drinking the water. Take that. Uh, it's just It is disinfected water, so we'll drink. I won't drink another one. We've, we've drunk enough. Right, uh, there was... Oh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's the one that I've already got, but it is more titanium. Now I'm stuck. I'm actually wedged in here and stuck. Last thing I want to do is get stuck inside this structure. That would be really, really, really bad. Uh, there we go. Right. What? Everything is dying. All the batteries are dying. Right, we want that one there. And, okay, so there's nothing in there of use. So I've got 54 seconds of oxygen. I'm being very good with my oxygen at the moment. I'm monitoring it most carefully. I'm looking around. I don't see anything else in here. So there's the data box there that we've already looked at. And in here... Oh, no, that was the, the other door. Uh, there's nothing else in this room either. Sort of looked over there. And if I go up here... Nope, that's nothing. Right. I have... Oh, what's that? That's a... 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm not actually going to worry about getting the more, more titanium now. So we want to go out and up here. Go, 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 go. Nope, that way. There we go. 15 seconds. I, I do cut this very, very close every time. I actually could have just probably gone straight to the sea moth and it would have been better off. But I wasn't quite sure where it was. So we'll um, just get a little bit of oxygen and then we can come racing back down here. I got one more data box, which is there, I think. That's the one that I want to go to. I'll go in here. Right. I feel a bit safer now. When I'm in this one, I do feel safer. It's not foolproof. Definitely not foolproof. We've got a life pod over there. That's the, yeah, that one's a long way away. That data box there is the one that we want. I think. You know, I don't actually know which one we've been to because it doesn't, like, delete them off of the display. I think it's this one that I want to get to. It's down. It's down. It's down quite a long way. So we'll follow this sea cliff along here. That's a, a sand shark. I know about the sand shark. What was that? Oh, that was a small fish. It's okay. It was just a tiny little fish. Right. It's down there. So is that underneath me? Do I need to go? Oh, I see. Cave. I need to go in here because there's the data box down there. 
And... Right, there's... Oh! Oh, look! <gasps> there's like a whole habitat down there! Okay, how deep? I'm 179. I can't actually get any further, but there's there's a, a nasty worm type thing there. I want to be able to drop down a bit further. I want to get to that habitat. This is as low as I can go. I've got this depth module, but I've no idea how to actually install it. That could be the next thing. I could try and see how to install the depth module. Okay, a quick investigation has found that I can't actually do anything at all. Um, until I have the moon pool, I need to find the moon pool so that then I can put that onto the habitat and we can use that to, to do whatever we need to do. So I got that all the way down there. I don't think I can get down there in time. That, I'm guessing, is from the Degassi survivors. Because they said that, you know, that they don't want us down here. Uh, there, there was all of that mystery. There's great mystery surrounding all of this. Now, there is nasty TT things. Look at that. Those worms. Uh, they make me very nervous, and I, I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise. Um, I vote we leave them alone. That's my vote. I think that it would be rude of us to go to go interfering with them and and being horrible to them. They don't, they don't deserve that. We're going to completely ignore them, and we're going to leave them alone. There's lots of roaring from those various fish. I will leave them alone. I will not interfere with them. I'm going to be a very nice and kind person, and I'm going to come back when I've got something that's a little bit more substantial. Which is the prawn suit. I need the prawn suit. I need to make it. So, in order to be able to make the prawn suit, I need the aerogel stuff. That's what I need to be able to make. And I'm not quite sure how to make it. So, that's going to be our next task. So, I found all three data box thingies that were there. I want to go back over here. We'll go back home, and... What do I need to... Uh, salt, actually. I, I could do with a little bit of salt. If I can take a couple of bits of salt, I can make some more water. Um, yeah, there's a few bits here. Uh, I got me a little bit of salt, and we are... I think we've already got one bit of other stuff back here at the base. Um, the coral, the coral that we need. So yeah, I can't put upgrades on this one until I get the moon pool. The moon pool is something that we actually need for that. Uh, you can stop there. We will jump in here and... Welcome aboard, Captain. It's always nice to be welcomed home. Um, I wanted to make some of this, so I need to... Let me drop in a bit of the titanium like this and one salt deposit. I want that one. That will let me make one bit of this here. Bleach, that's what I want. Just want a bit of bleach. And I can turn the bleach into a bit of water as well. So we go into there, and we go into the water, and we go to disinfected water. That'll give us two waters. Job done. Right. Now in here, we've got equipment, fire extinguishers, pipes, floating air pumps. I don't want those. There is nothing down here that I actually want at the moment. I don't want purple tablets either. Uh, I don't want those. So we go into electronics. We've got computer chip, wiring... I think I need to make a couple of computer chips for some other stuff that we do want. Uh, that is basic materials. Uh, plasteel ingot. I can do those. I can make titanium ingot. And I can do the lithium. So we can make some plasteel. That I can do. I can do the glass, the bleach, the lubricant, enamel glass. I can do all... I can do... I can make all of those. That's, that's all brilliant and everything. But... What I can't do at the moment is, if you look in the blueprints, I need another one for the modification station, so we will look and see that in a second, see if we've got the right materials yet. Uh, I want to go to there, the prawn suit. Plasteel ingot we can do, enamel glass we can do, lead and diamond aren't problems, aerogel. How do we make aerogel? That's the one thing that I don't know at the moment. i got no clue how to make the aerogel. That is something that we're going to have to sort of look at. So let's go in here. Let's see if there's anything new. We've got that is data boxes. We'll stop that scan. Right, now i got three things. We've got heat area, limestone chunk, fragments. I need fragments. I've got the data. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, before we do our scan, let's just go in here. We want the data bank, data downloads. we got a couple of things here. So we've got public document. Uh... Transgov, Mongolian independent states, when the hostility expansion ceased, the tactical value, the harder reach colony systems on the edge of the China territories plummeted, recouping from the war, the central government left them to starve. Systems in question declared independence, claiming their infrastructures as their own, and their intent became self 
with and their intent to become self-sufficient. Today, the Mongolian states is seen as a relatively minor power on the outskirts of colonized space, yet it remains one of the fastest expanding trans trans gubs in galaxy. Mongolian societies inherited technologies from Chinese but incorporated the customs of their multicultural colonist base. Non-synthetic foods remain popular, religion is a very strong component of the society, but the Mongolians take a relaxed view of competing faiths, believing gods to be universally and equally flawed. Right. Degasi survivors. This Altera search and rescue mission. Paul Torgel. This is one that we actually got last time and I forgot to read it. Paul Torgel and his crew fell out of contact with Mongolian authorities close to a decade ago. The Torgels were a resourceful and powerful clan, and the ship was well equipped, so the survival is considered likely. However, multiple vessels passing through the system have since attempted to trace ship with to no effect. It is hoped the Aurora Superior Scanning Suite can do better. Made majority shareholder in Torgel core by his mother upon her retirement, Interaction Milterra limited to the infrequent chartered munitions deliveries, beneficiary of life extension technologies. Life extension technologies, that would be very cool, if you could extend your life. Imagine the things you could see if you could live for like 300 years, that would be quite... Can you go back 300 years and think of the things that we've experienced in the last 300 years? Imagine what we'd experience in the next 300, that would be awesome. Anyway, company by his only child, Bart Torgel, 19, heir to the Torgel Corporation. Emissary Kassar reports Torgel often travelled with a skeleton crew and was known for making rash but profitable decisions. Inadequate system maintenance for or straying from his planned route may account for the ship's disappearance. Okay, so he was a bit of a risk taker. Codes and clues. We've got this one right here. Code is 2679 for the captain's quarters. We know that now. Distress signal has been received from LifePod 7. Crew reported problems are on board Fabricator, sunk 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity, transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of Aurora's stern section. So we got that one that we need to go and look at as well. So we got all we got various pods that we want to go and look at. I'm thinking maybe we need to go to these pods. Um in particular that one, the codes and clues, this one. 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity southwest of Aurora's stern section. Right. Southwest of Aurora's stern section. Uh, it's a shame we don't have a map in this game. That would actually make life a lot bit, a lot easier. Um, anyway, uh, Wreck, Titanium, Stalker Tooth. I want to go and I want to look for fragments. This is what I need. I need fragments. And Magnetite as well would be useful. We don't currently have any. But do we have any fragments showing up? There are no fragments showing up at the moment. How long does it take to scan properly? Well, I don't know how long it takes to scan properly. It's been scanning for a little while and I have found nothing. So I'm going to leave that bit. We'll, we'll turn the scanning off. And I don't want gold. I don't want limestone. I need magnetite, which is... Well, let's just look for magnetite because you can find magnetite on his own. You can also find it in the shale chunks, but I think finding it on his own would be better. There's there's a bit there, but I think that is way down in one of the caverns. Uh, yeah, that's down. That'll be in that cavern that we were looking at. There's no more. Seem to be it. Oh, no, there's another bit. Is that another bit? No, I don't think it is. That is the one that we were just looking at, and that is way below the surface. Well, that's not useful. That's not useful at all. Let's try scanning for shale chunks. I tell you what, if this doesn't work, what I will do is, right, I got one over there, that is another one that is down in that cavern. Alright, I'm going to leave that running a minute, and I will go back to that cavern, and I will get this shale chunk. I need to have a bite to eat and a bit of water, which is just going to be some of these here. Um, grab that one. Inventory full already. I need to empty out my inventory as well. Something that we do need to make is a battery charger. I completely forgot about building a battery charger, so let's get one of those. We'll plonk it on the wall right there, I think, if we can. Uh, I want to go to you. And we want to go to interior modules and battery charger. I need a wiring kit, copper wire, and titanium. I think I've got the materials for all of the above. I think. We've got silver in here. Yeah, we got silver. Um... I think I need two bits of silver, and copper is needed for the other, but I don't know if I got enough copper. I got loads of gold. I got gold coming out of my ears, but I don't think I got very much copper at the moment. No, I got more gold there, and I, I need at least two copper for the, yeah, not the wiring kit, but for the, the actual copper wire, I need two copper ore for that one. Right, so we, we need to go and get a bit of copper. Let me just go to... That one there. We want 
two copper for that, and I got titanium, I got plenty of. So the titanium's not a problem. Right, and it's it does actually take a while to go through with everything, but yeah, we got a whole load of shale chunks there. The only direction where the shale chunks are, though, they're all down there. Well, we'll go looking for those in a bit. Right now, I just need to get a little bit of copper, which is going to be the the small stuff. I don't know if they respawn or not, all of the, the chunks that are all over the, the the walls. We'll find out in a minute, because I'm about to go through here. Those respawn. Those definitely respawn. Look at them. How close are you going to get? That was you, you went a lot further that time than you normally do. I got any more. There's another one up there. Look, there he is. I'm going to go right up past him. Whoosh! <laughs> Come on! Where are you? Is he giving up? I don't think he's coming up to me. There he is. Right, now I need to swim. There he goes. Right. Okay, this is actually quite good fun teasing these things. Once you know they're there, and um, then it's not so much of an issue. Uh, so those definitely respawn. We know that now. We have sort of tested that. I was curious if they did respawn or not. So does that mean that the chunks of other resources, do they respawn as well or not? That is something I'm a little bit curious about. Oh, there's some. It's the limestone outcrops that I need so that I can get some Save copper. Fluid oh, fluid intake. I also need some oxygen. I'm not going to eat. I'm going to leave food until another time. Uh, there's nothing there. I just want to swim around and look for some more limestone outcrops. Those limestone outcrops are quite important at the moment. Now I've actually been swimming around for a while looking for the limestone. I've only found one. I mean, that is actually enough for what we need, but uh, I think I'm going to have to go and use the... Welcome aboard, Captain. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I think we're going to have to use the scanner to try and find some more of those at some point soon. Because, yeah, uh, I really, I actually need quite a few more. It would be really, really useful if I could find a few more of them. Uh, I've got a salt deposit, so I can use that for that. And I've got the table coral, which I'm keeping just for future use. If I turn that salt a second into more useful items. Have I got any other salt? I don't think I do. Right, so i got two copper. And I've also picked up a bit of quartz so that we can make some glass, should I need it as well. Right, I think I've got everything on me. No, I need some titanium. I've got the copper wire, I've got the wiring kit. I just want a bit of titanium a second. Uh, let's take one, two, three. Actually, I don't need that many, I just need a couple of them. Um, we'll put, where is it? Habitat Builder can go there. So I want this one on the wall right here. This is where it's going to go. Uh, let's actually use it. There we go. And battery charger, yes! Perfect! So put that one in there, and I'll get four dead batteries, and we will dump them into it. Open locker. Now, uh, what do we got? Uh, I don't have any there. I left a, I left several of the dead batteries behind on the Aurora, but I got one there. And over here, we've got, yeah, quite a few dead ones here. I have been using the dead ones up to make these power cells as well, so th there is that. Uh, that one is full. Those four are empty. We can put four of them in here. Access battery charger. Beautiful. Right, you, how do I, oh, I, I got to move them manually over, I didn't even realise you had to do it like that, I thought you could just right click, oh no, equip, there, equip, that's how you do it, right, so there's that bit, we got the batteries are now charging, we've got the fabricator there that is working, I'm going to have a bit to eat a minute from our plants here, I'm also going to run upstairs and just take a quick look at this one, is this still working, yeah, that's, that's still fine, uh, so I want a bit to eat and some drink, and then we're going after those shell chunks over there to try and get a few bits. Uh, we're also going to go, I think we'll, we might go to the Aurora first before we go for the shell chunks. I'm not, I'm not actually sure at the moment, we'll see. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, we will first go and take a visit to, we got the shale chunks down there, they will stay marked on our map. So we're going to go running over to the Aurora. Actually, no, no, we're going to go to the, we'll go to the shell chunks first. 
We go to, we'll go and look at these first, see if we can grab a few, because there may be some useful um, bits and pieces on them. And then once we've done that, I, I suspect that we're not actually going to be able to get deep enough to use them anyway. Um, so it's just not really going to matter either way. And we want to go to the Aurora. We want to go into the captain's quarters and see what we can find in there. And then we want to go southwest of the Aurora. Uh, one kilometer southwest to find this other um, life pod. It's 200 meters down. That, we should be okay. 200 meters down, we should be alright. Because I can dry, I can sink this one down to 200 meters. And then we can, the rest of it, we can do uh, ourselves. Now, the shale chunks, I think, are all below 200 meters level. Every single one of them is 200 meters, is down below the 200 meter mark. Which is not very Warning. useful. Maximum oh, there's one. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, let's just go up a little bit. Ascend. There we go. So we can leave that one at 190 meters. There, it's the roaring that makes me so nervous in this game. It really does. It, it genuinely makes me nervous now, especially after some of the encounters that we've had lately. Yesterday was particularly terrifying for me. It really was. It was genuinely, genuinely terrifying. Right, there's some diamond. There is a shale chunk. No, that's over the other side. Okay, that's that's a ways away. Um, is there any nearby? See, I can swim around. Sort of okay. Why do they move around? I really don't get why they keep moving around on my um, lists over here. 93. Just keep an eye on our oxygen and swim over here. Hopefully that great big snake thing. That was lithium. I want, I want magnetite. That's what I need. I need magnetite quite badly. Doesn't look like there's actually any down here. I'm not going to be able to get any more of those. That worm is getting very close. Let's, let's get away from it. I, it's that noise that they're making. I really don't like it. That makes me so nervous. It really does. Okay. Oh, there's a shell chunk up there. We're going to grab that. There might be a piece of magnetite. If we can get a couple of bits of magnetite, it just means that we're able to um, finish making our... Uh, uh, do another range upgrade. But the note, that's diamond. Not that I'm complaining about the diamond. Diamond can be very useful. Uh, there's quite a few things, I think, that actually require the diamond, so we won't complain about that. We've got what we can get. Let's go up here. If I can get out of here without destroying my sea moth. Yep, I can. Excellent. Okay, we'll go over here so that we're slightly away from anything. We're in the shallows. It should be reasonably safe here. Um, and what do we want to do? So I've got, I got a bit of space in our bags. We've got diamond, 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 and lithium. I didn't get any magnetite, which is kind of the, is the bit that I could really do with. Uh, that's all right. Uh, I need to find the aurora. We go to the aurora. We go into the captain's quarters, and we'll see what is said there. Then we want to come off the stern of the ship. Oh, the aurora is right there. So we want to go around the front. We want to stay on this side. If we stay on the left-hand side, I don't actually remember if that is um, port or starboard. I've got no clue. Not a clue. Um... So we stay, we'll stay on this side of it, and then hopefully we, we won't um, encounter any of the, the, the really big nasty things. I can hear some teeth, but those are small teeth. The small teeth is not such, a, it's not such an issue for us. We can cope with small teeth. There, and, and a little tiny fish. We, we don't care about those either. What we care about is great big monstrous things with arms that end in claws leaping up out of the depths and grabbing hold of the sea moth and shaking it and chewing on the glass on the front. That genuinely terrified me. I really did. And I, I still have to apolo I still apologize for if, if I like, you know, shattered your eardrums by my shrieking. Um, but quite frankly, I, I feel that was enough to make anybody shriek. I, I don't know very many people that wouldn't shriek in such, cir such circumstances. It was, it was definitely worth shrieking about. Um, <laughs> Genuinely, that is the single scariest moment I have ever had in gaming. The single scariest moment ever. I've never been so genuinely terrified at any point in my gaming career. And I've been gaming since a very, very young age. And I've never experienced anything that has actually scared me that much. Um, so, well done, Subnautica, you, you actually knocked years off my life. I'm sure it was actually genuinely years that you have taken off my life. Not just a little bit, but years. You've knocked years off of me. Uh, right, we are... Yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go. Um, 
We don't need to worry about the... Yeah, look, see, it's... I'm looking at my bags now, and everything has been shuffled round. I want the flashlight down there, and that one... Oh, actually, it's not been shuffled around that much, but we could do with the laser cutter there. Propulsion cannon in the middle. It's all good. I reckon this is good. Uh, I want to go... I don't want that... Right, we want to run all the way over to the captain's quarters now. It's a little bit of a maze through here, but I'm actually remembering my way mostly. So, um, I'm actually quite impressed with myself for that. I, I'm, I feel that I can... Uh, say that uh, that is something worth being proud of. So we come up through here and we dodge those fires. In round here and we have the captain's quarters. This is what we want. So we want to go into there and I want to go data bank, uh, life pod transit. There we go. 2679. So thank you very much to everybody that actually told me the code. Um, I did choose not to use it then. I want to actually play the game as it's intended all the way through. There we go, open door. So what do we got in here? We got a, a really nice poster. I'm going to have that one. Uh, there's an actual model of the Aurora in here. I'm definitely having that one as well. Uh, abandoned PDA. First, Captain's Log. We'll take that one. So, you're exploring a quiet alien backwater when a ship you arrived here in implodes. It must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site. Farm alien plants. Use tectonic de-imploder. Unavailable. Uh, farm alien plants. That's just what Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you collect a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. Which will you sustain yourself with? Uh, what is this? Craig McGill Simulator. Captain Hot Dog Hollister. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, after foraging for some hours, you collect a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. What will you sustain yourself? Starwall eggs, tree roaches, or stank root. Uh, Starwall eggs. While the Star Wars eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast space-fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm. And besides, their mother is extremely angry with you. <laughs> Fight the Star Wars. Apologize to the Star Wars. Accept your fate. Greg McGill knows there is no reasoning with the mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in, surface of the st in service of the Star Wars' continued survival. Would you like to continue? No. Okay. Um, didn't end well for him, though, did it? Now, that is what I want. I want the Aurora poster, because that thing looks epic. That thing really does look very, very cool. Uh, I have also, I'm hoping, enough space for that Aurora miniature. Look at this. Yes, it's only a single as well. Brilliant. We will take that one, and then we have this here, the data terminal download data. Altera HQ last... Blueprints Neptune Escape Rocket. Somebody did say that Neptune, Neptune Escape Rocket is what I need to get off the planet. The blueprint was set was developed. Hang on a minute. A flashing light makes it very difficult to see. There we go. Uh, back to nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources. Piloted by AI, it may be adapted to employ whatever power source available, but it require a lot of it. Consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform. Floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch a rocket. Gantry provides structural support. Stage one, primary thruster for reaching atmosphere. Escape velocity, stage 2 is fuel reserve, stage 3 is a cockpit. Uh, features one-person life support, short-range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital sheeting, shielding, rather, <coughs> onboard time capsule. Warning, onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. The use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. Okay, that's actually quite useful. Uh, we won't be using it just yet, though. Uh, time capsule. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a number of small items, time capsules are often fabricated by maroon survivors seeking either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future or to leave evidence of their plight which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit, and be jettisoned off. On takeoff, Altera requests time capsules be stocked with tools and resources which will aid those who may discover them in the future. Okay. And what else have we got? Is there anything... Uh, there's still one more. It is Operations Logs, Altera HQ, last recorded transmissions. Average long-range transmission delay, 8 hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. 
Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications, really, offline. Oh, that's just great. Right, so we have got a few bits and pieces here that are going to be useful. I think, really, we want to go and find the other, um... The other, the other, what do you call it? There's some other things that we want to find. Um, what are they called? Data downloads, uh, Aurora survivors. No, not those. Codes and clues. There we go. Life pods. I need to go and find the life. Is this one in particular? Crew reported problems are on board Fabricator. Sunk to 200 meters. Transmission origin one kilometer southwest of Aurora's stern section. Now, stern is the back of the boat, not the front of the boat. Let's pick up that battery. Now, is there any water around? Now, that's uh, I can pick that one up. I don't think I left water in this bit. Bag is not empty. What have I left in this one? I think this one has got titanium left in it. Yes, it has. Um, there was lots and lots of water around. I think I left water bottles up this end of the ship. I did leave a few up here somewhere. Um, as far as sh uh, posters go, I've got that one. And I've now got a new toy, the, the Aurora um, toy thing. Uh, what do we got in here? I got another nutrient block, which I'm going to take. I got a, there's a med kit over there. Um, there's another battery. Do I need another battery? I'm carrying one battery that's dead and one that's full. Okay, let's, let's grab another battery. That one will be full. It doesn't look like there's any water here, though. That surprises me. Ooh. Pick up natural selection two poster. Yeah, we'll take that. That leaves us two slots left, which isn't very much, although I'm going to have to drink a bit of water in a minute, which will probably take care of one of them. Ah, there's some water. Uh, I don't think there's any more water. I think that is it as far as water is concerned. So let's drink one of them for now, and we'll also eat one of those nutrient blocks. That'll take our food all the way back up, and I'm going to get out of here. Uh, one thing I didn't actually realize is if you touch the sparks, they do actually hurt. I've not encountered that before, but look. <laughs> See? I scream in pain when I touch them. <laughs> okay, it's, it's probably not the best way to keep doing it. It's, uh, yeah, probably not the best way to sort of explore such things is by doing it repeatedly. But uh, let's let's just use a, the first aid kit and, um, and repair that little bit of damage that we took. And I think that's it. I think we're good to go. I'm also kind of running out of time for today, so we're going to have to carry this on tomorrow. We're going to stop right here on the Aurora and we want to go well I think we'll go home first we'll go home and then we can like get rid of some of this stuff that we're carting around and then we will go back and we want to just go off the stern we want to go southwest off the stern so we want to go in that direction and it was about a kilometer southwest off the stern of the boat and then we should in theory be able to find the next survivor and I'm hoping that there may be another one of these um, very very important uh, blueprint bits well we want the, the gel I need the aero gel I need to know how to make that but the the oh hang on oh the Neptune launch pad pad uh, I, don't, I don't really care about that one it's a modification station that's the one that I want to make not the thermal plant it's no still not there that one right there that is the one that I want to make. I need to find one more bit and I can make that, which then is going to unlock the ability to make a couple of these other bits, which are, uh, well, it's not those. No, it's it's up here. It's up here. It's up further. No, it's still, we need to find more bits for the Cyclops as well. That is also quite important. I want to find the moon pool stuff, but it's this. Ultra high capacity tank, ultra glide fins, repulsion cannon. All good things. And I want this. I want to be able to make aerogel. No clue how to make the aerogel. Anyway, that's all to come. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later. Welcome aboard, Captain.